Dr Boyle. Uh, in reference to interpreting the Constitution, um, the most egregious example of that is the Miss P case, where um, I think everybody here is aware of that and the absolutely appalling vista that that presented. And the doctors were unable to make a decision as to whether or not they could turn off her life support because of the presence of a fetal heartbeat. And that, I think, is the best example. But certainly, um, in terms of day-to-day -day practice, it would not come up on a, on a, a daily basis basis, but in a, in a busy unit in a tertiary referral centre, it certainly would be an issue uh, in wondering, are we, uh, is it legal to provide a termination in this particular case? So, um, and I think all of the other sort of um, problem is all of the other uh, cases that we've discussed going to the European Court of Human Rights and so on make, make the Eighth Amendment very difficult um, on the ground for practising staff.